Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ashley. Tonight we're gonna go through everything I sold last week, all two items, and everything I'm shipping out tonight. So it's gonna be short and sweet, make sure you stay tuned till the end. Okay, so two items sold last week, really short week for me, or not short, but slow. Um, they were two good sales, but they were, you know, it was two sales for a Monday through Friday. So first was a 1997 AIWA stereo system. This was actually a really cool flip though. I found it at my local Goodwill for 10 bucks. I looked up the sold comps on them and it was crazy. They can sell anywhere from 50 to 80. If you have the right model over a hundred dollars. So I scooped it up. I know nothing about stereo equipment whatsoever. I sat on it for about a week or so and I finally got brave. I threw some CDs in it. They rotated. It would push them out, but I couldn't get them to play. I don't know if it's because I didn't hook speakers up to it. Again, I don't know anything about stereo equipment. And then I, uh, the cassette, it had a left and a right deck for the cassettes and I could get one side to open, but the other side wouldn't open. So I did not actually stick a cassette tape in it because I was scared. I didn't know what would happen. I don't have any speakers hooked up to it. So I listed it for parts and I had a couple people message me about it, asking me what was wrong with it. And I told them everything I knew about it, what I had done, what I hadn't done. And I actually received an offer while well, someone asked me what my best offer was and I said I had it listed for 60 I said I can do 50 on it and figured out so I was getting the messages in English and Spanish so I started sending my messages back in English and Spanish and someone they asked if I would ship it to Mexico and I'm like whoo this is a 16 pound stereo system but sure I'll ship it to Mexico so I have completed my first shipment to Mexico I sent it out, I want to say it was Wednesday, so it's not there yet, but I tracked it tonight, and it's in Colombia, and it should be there by Friday, so I'll let you guys know if it makes it in my next video. I've got fingers crossed that it makes it there in the same condition that I sent it. I know UPS can be hard on packages, so... The next item was a set of four corral dishes. I'm really hoping I didn't hit on these in my last video. If I did, I'm sorry. It's a set of four classical garden 10 and three quarter inch dinner plates they are well they're corningware they're not corral they're the classical garden dinner plates that I talked about picking up I know I talked about picking them up in my last video but I didn't know if I told you I sold any um I'm two dollars in on this set of four and they sold for twenty dollars so it was an awesome flip I'm telling you watch for these corningware plates as well as these corral plates because there can be some money in them then we have the items that are selling to are that we're shipping out tonight, as well as I think he said there was 12 or 13 items we're shipping out tonight for whatnot. So again, short, sweet video because I have a lot of shipping to do. I listed earlier today, so I got my listings in for the day, but we had our officially had, I've been talking about it forever, our 500 follower sale on whatnot. It was popping. We were on there for about two hours. Um, we had some really awesome sales. We sold a full set of primary color Pyrex mixing bowls. Oh my gosh, they were beautiful. I think the whole set sold for 79 last night. I did not start everything super low by any means, but I mean, I had some really awesome product. We sold a jar of marbles, a couple other Pyrex pieces, and then the Murano. Let me show you the Murano we sold. We sold a pink crystal clear Murano vase with its original Murano sticker. And then we sold this behemoth one. Let me show you. Look at this bad mammer jammer with its original Murano sticker. This is a crystal clear, yes. Uh, crystal clear Murano glassware made in Italy. It's got the red and the white and the yellow. I mean, excellent condition, beautiful pieces. Um, say a little prayer for me. I'm super nervous about shipping these out. So they're going to make it there. I know they're going to make it there. We have been perfecting our shipping for months now. So 
the whatnot sale was awesome though. So if you guys haven't already and you're on whatnot, go find me on there, reselling farming mom. Give give us a follow. Um, and it's pretty awesome though because all of the stuff that didn't sell last night, I've actually been working on listing it and on eBay today. I think I put five or six items in so far. And what's nuts is one of the items I listed this afternoon from the sale last night already sold today. So it might be something more than what I thought it was. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can let me know. Um, it was this vase. Um, it's blue. It look, picks up black a little bit, but it is blue and white and red. I listed it as, I will tell you, a Czech six and a half inch red, blue, white, abstract glass vase EUC. So... It's six and a half inches tall, no chips or cracks, and then it's marked Czechoslovakia on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale, and it sold for $16 in about a couple hours. So I don't know if I asked too little for it. I couldn't find anything else like it. So I'm happy with the profit. I'm happy to see it go. And it sold for more than my start <laughs> starting price on whatnot last night. So that's another awesome about that. So, but let's talk about everything else I'm sending out tonight. Back to, let's talk about this stuff. First is a lot of two vintage Mexican folk art pottery Tanala foil round vases. I have a four inch and a six inch. So we have the four inch and we have the six inch. So they're a little bit different, but still quite similar. Marked Mexico in the person. I don't know much about these pieces. When I can get them for a good price, I pick them up. I don't know why, but I do. I think I paid a dollar for the pair of these at a local garage sale. And they sold for $10. I think they were listed for $14 and I accepted the $10 offer or I sent the $10 offer. I'm not sure which, but they've been listed for quite a while. So next was a hole punch, guys. This is a really cool flip. I don't know. I go to the Goodwill at least once a week. I always talk about picking stuff up at the local Goodwill. This is a Levenger. A Levenger 11 hole desk paper hole punch with adjustable slide. So you can see the name on there and you can see where all the hole punches would be. And they're all right here. Um, I This has been listed less than two weeks. I looked it up at the Goodwill. I've been looking up office supplies when I'm there that are in really good condition. And this one... I paid $2 for it and it sold for $21 and some of them can sell for even more. They sent me an offer of $21 and I accepted it just because it's got some weight to it. I think it's going USPS uh, select ground because of the weight, but I was happy with that profit for two bucks. Like I could sit on that for a while, but I didn't have to. So I was really excited about that. Next was a lot of six Corel Secret Garden dishes. So I had picked these up and I had gotten three of the dinner plates. You can see the flowers on it. And then three of the dessert bread plates. So I listed them together so I didn't have to keep track of two listings of three. I put the three and the three together since they're both odd numbers and I really don't like odd number dish listings. I do have quite a few of them, but I really prefer the evens. So I was $3 in because I paid 50 cents a piece on plates, glass bowls, cups, all, etc. And the set of six sold for $22. So that was an excellent profit. The dishes, the Corel plates and bowls are no, by no means are they fast sellers, but they are low cost and usually a pretty decent profit. So I don't mind sitting on them and I have like the perfect organization for them. So when I recommend picking up Corel, I highly recommend you also have a way to store them where you can see them because playing Where's Waldo with plates is the hardest thing to do. It is doable, we used to do it, but now it is so much simpler. And then last but not least, 
I already told you about the check vase, so I will tell you about my last thing we're sending out tonight is this Scooby-Doo 18-inch Shaggy doll. Um, he's got a hard head, and at one point he talked. He needs new batteries if he's going to talk again. I'm not sure how much we paid for this. This is another one of those items that my son did not want anymore. We made the hard decision. He had to pick some stuffies to get rid of, and this was one of them. I think it's actually from a garage sale, so we probably paid a dollar for it. And it sold for $9.95. It, yes, it could have sold for more had I put new batteries in it and tested it. But I don't usually test the stuffies unless it does a lot of things. So for this one, I was happy with the profit I got. But if you guys want to make a little bit more on them, I recommend testing them. But then again, if you find out it doesn't work, then you're still taking that loss. So, and then you have to take the batteries out and you have to get the little screwdriver out and it's just a whole lot of work I'm not ready for. So, but with that, that's everything that's going out tonight. Yes, it was a small week, but it was still a very profitable week. So I've been listing daily and we just sourced some bulk blankets today. So those will be going up listed into the Ashley Swifty shop on eBay. If you're interested in Dragon Ball Z new blankets, make sure you go check it out. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.